Hello, in this video, we are going to learn how to answer questions on creating line charts using PyPlot. Line charts display information as series of data points or markers connected by straight lines. Now the questions we are asked on line chart are either a table with data points which we are asked to plot or an equation which we need to plot. Let's start with a simple question. Here we have data of velocity of two objects and we need to plot line chart. We will start the program by first importing the pyplot library. Let's look at syntax of plot function in pyplot which is used to draw the line diagrams. It needs at least x and y sequence and then there are quite a few optional parameters which you will pick as required by your question. Now in this question, series is already given to us, so we will use python list itself to create x and 2y series from the data given and not use numpy arrays. We will then call the plot function with these values. Since we have 2y series, we will call plot 2 times for each x and y series. After plot, you need to call show to display the graph. Now if you run this program, you will see the basic graph is there and now we need to just format it. Let's see what are the optional parameters for plot function. First is the line style. We can specify line style as solid, dashed, dash dot or dotted. Since our question is asking for dash, we will give that as next parameter. As you see, there is an option for line width as well, which we can use. Next are markers. There are various options for markers available. Any of these options can be asked in the exam. Since in our question we have been asked diamond marker, we will use D. For the markers, we can also set marker size in points if we want a bigger marker and also set marker face and marker edge color. Since in our question marker size, marker face and marker edge color are not asked, we are not adding it. Next is color. I can specify different colors for our lines. We can specify colors as either a single character or full color name or even as hex strings. Since in our question, it is not asked, we will not add it. Python automatically plots multiple lines with different colors. Now there are some other chart elements like title, x and y label, legends, etc. which need to be set at plot level and can be used for any type of graphs. Let's look at some of them here. First one is title. If you call plot.title function with a string, it will add a title string at the top. Next are x labels and y labels. If you pass a string, it can be used to set the x axis and y axis labels respectively. Next is legends. To add legends, you have to first mention line label in the plot function and then we have to call plot.legend function. Now when we plot the graph, PyPlot automatically finds the best fitting range for x and y axis. However, if you want to manually set it, you can use the xlim and ylim function. They take the min and max values and show the data points within this range. Since in our question, we have been asked titles and x and y labels, we will add that. Now if we run this, we should get a graph. Let's look at another question. Here you have to draw a graph for two equations and the question has a range for x. Now whenever a range is given or the series need to be calculated, we use numpy arrays as it has various functions which support this. Here we will first import both the libraries pyplot and numpy. We will use numpy's arrange function 
to generate the series. It creates array with evenly spaced values between the specified start, end and increment values. Here one key thing to note is that end number is not included. So you need to make sure it is incremented when you give the values. So here we will give 1 as start, 11 as end and 1 as step value. Now the good part of numpy array is that you can perform calculations across entire arrays. So next we will generate the two Y series. Now we will do the actual plotting. Let's look at the syntax of plot function. For every Y series, the easiest way is to call the plot function separately. It takes in the X axis, Y axis, then I can give in color which for us is green for one and red for other. Then I will set the width to 3. It takes the label as well, so we will give the labels here. Now if you run this, you will see the graph is displayed on the screen. If you want to solve more problems like this, you can visit my website for more Python programs to practice on. Good luck!